you know, the cost of living challenges that we're, that we're facing, you know, none of these will be a surprise to anyone. Um, everything from you know, the conversations we're having increasingly with, um, with our tenants about, you know, the challenges that they have with affordability of uh, food, fuel, bills, the worry that that generates. So we have a hardship fund that we help tenant with. Uh, we got a lot of calls regarding food hardship and this is impacting as well on the rent areas because they choose to pay the rent or you know the food so they prefer to pay the food so their rent areas is increasing so that's why we are here to help. Our role here is to sustain uh, tenancies and to support people in, 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 in those tenancies but also you know, to ensure that we are um, you know, not allowing them to, to slip into you know, long-term structural debt. We need to be um, aware of that as a, as a landlord. It, it feels like a real crisis moment for many. A situation with mortgages affecting nearly all homeowners at the moment. But it's affecting people um, far more across the board than we've seen before. People on the, the, the least incomes are using pay meters to pay for their fuel and they're paying more than, uh, than other methods of payment. I think if there's one thing that the government could do immediately is try and match that up. There's a moral imperative there. It's not right that people are, who are struggling to pay their bills um, are using the most expensive pay method.